So guys, I've just um, decided to head back to the spot with the loons that was at, and uh, just to give it a bit of a go. The loon was a little bit spooked by me this morning when it came close to shore, um, understandably so. So I've got the Tragopan Lagopus in the back, gonna set that up on the shoreline, hoping that sun has gone round. And I'm gonna spend two, three hours, maybe a little bit more in there, just to see if we can get lucky. Um, it's a very hot day again today, it's like 32 and uh, yeah, pretty damn hot. So hopefully I'll get in a position and we may get lucky with that common loon. So guys, I'm in the sweat box. Um, I'm in the Lagopus hide on the Richard Lake. I've got the sun behind me, lovely, lovely glassy water in front. Seen the loon right in the middle of the lake, um, quite a ways off at the moment. Hoping, hoping it comes in for a close feed and swim. No guarantees. I'm set up nicely here. Um, and I'm nicely low down um, to the water too. So I'm really hoping it comes in in this lovely glassy area in here. It's beautiful. I'm really missing the slow-mo 4K um, of the R3. Uh, I'm going to have to go with the uh, full HD uh, slow-mo and I'm shooting at a 4K 60. But yeah, and I haven't got my video head either. So it's um, just a normal ball head today. But I'll do my best and uh, see what we can do. But I'm really hoping it comes in like this morning. I'm really hoping. It's quite a twitchy bird. Literally, it did come in close uh, on the first day when we arrived. And I got out of the car, the bins didn't really show myself, just looked over the top and it had gone. And same this morning, it came real close. And then, yeah, it saw me behind the tree, as in I wasn't really disguising myself. And uh, yeah, off it went. So, yeah, let's hope it just makes its way. And this could be a waiting game and no results. But um, I'm here for three or four days more so let's just uh, keep those fingers crossed I'm hoping I'm all right here um, I'm on a main track with no property signs anywhere so I'm thinking I'm all right although the locals are probably wondering who the hell is that in a hide but you know hopefully uh, <laughs> hopefully it's all good um, I usually always abide by uh, privacy signs and there's none here so can't be doing anything that bad so we'll see how it goes So guys, this is my current view. Um, I said this morning it came in real close, real close, but um, yeah, hopefully we'll get lucky and it'll come in, but there's uh, absolutely no guarantees here. Could be shooting at distance. So I've got the um, Canon 300 with the two times on. Uh, hopefully they'll be sharp enough, um, but we'll see. So I had a great time there with the uh, great blue heron. Um, just sat motionless fishing. Um, didn't see it catch anything. And uh, I think someone going past this dirt track and their car saw my uh, car park, then saw my hide and my lens poking out the front. 
decided to stop, wind the window down and just stare at me for a bit and then the heron flew off. Um, don't, I'm guessing they don't get to see many people do this. Um, <laughs> didn't say anything though, just drove up their drive and that was that, but um, I guess if there was anything wrong they'd tell me, but sadly the heron took flight and off it went. Uh, we've got uh, some sort of waterfowl on the water here, it's too far off to ID, I videoed a bit of it, so hopefully I'll better ID it when we get back. So guys, it's still very hot in the sweat box. I think I've been in here now for about two and a half, three hours. Saw Lou when it first arrived, right out in the middle. Haven't seen it since. There's a waterfowl that's been on the on the water, in and out, up and down, right in front of me for quite a while. Not really that close, and we still got the uh, heron over in the distance. I'm really hoping that loon does come in. I've got another like hour left. Um, this is my current view at the moment. Absolutely like a mill pond, lovely bit of light coming across. All we need now is a loon. It's a big lake, guys, so you know it's a bit of a needle in that haystack, but you know, you never know. Um, we might get lucky. So, guys, you can't hear a pin drop at the moment, and uh, I haven't seen the loon since I arrived three and a bit hours ago, but I've just heard it round the corner. I've got no idea if it's going to come around this um, side at all. So I've seen it here a couple of times now and uh, there's no guarantees. When I arrived it was right in the middle and it was quite a way off. And I came down the shore and I set up my hide here. Whether or not it's got exceptionally good eyesight and it saw me, which it probably has. Um, then it won't come over here maybe. Um, I don't know, but I'm gonna give it another half hour, push it a bit, and uh, maybe we'll get rewarded. But if not, there's always tomorrow, the next day, or maybe the next day uh, for an early morning sesh. But um, it's absolutely ideal here at the moment. If I had my way, I'd stay till dark, but I've got a uh, head back to the family. Um, but I'm just pushing it for the last half an hour. Come on, Lou. come round the corner, give us a show and then I uh, can have a few images in the bag, a nice experience, and then head off back. But come on. So guys, the loon has just come round the corner quite a way off at the moment. But it's on its way, I can just watching it here. Oh, beautiful. Oh, amazing. It's like four hours now. And there it is. Chuff the bits, it's on its way. God, it dives for a long time. Now I've lost it. Whew. I hope it calls out, guys, because it's just a magical sound. A 
I've got loads of frogs next to me as well. Toad, I think they're frogs, making a right racket. Oh, I've got it. Yeah, it's way over the other side at the moment. It's diving and feeding right over the other side, right where the light is. So if it ends up going back the way it came around the corner, I'll just bin it and um, call it a day, but let's hope it comes over here. What an amazing bird though, and that call is just fantastic. Oh, the light is just so nice there. It's not a breath now of wind. It's like a mill pond out there, it really is. I hope you get to hear it on the mic in a minute. Oh, such a wonderful thing. So far away. The question is, will it come over? I don't know what it is about this bird, guys, but I think it's probably the plumage and just the call and the habits of them that really do interest me. There are other loon species, but diver should I say but I'm really taken with this one I love the way that it hangs around remote locations in remote waters and they call on still lakes and just that call runs right through you and it's on one of the uh, coins in Canada I think it's on well, they call it the loon so um oh there it is it's coming closer oh wow that's amazing right guys back to it So guys, sadly, this was the uh, last sight of the loon that evening. So I decided to head up and head back to the cabin. But it was an absolutely fantastic afternoon. No close encounters, sadly, but still, it was great to see the loon, the heron, and the other species as well on the lake. But um, thanks very much indeed for watching, guys. I'll see you all next time. Hey guys, the things you do for YouTube and for vlogging. <laughs>